David Berkeley's songs and stories investigate emotional connection. How do you find your stories? I wanted, to, I wanted to write a book of interweaving stories. So all of the stories in this book, the characters meet each other and, um, and ultimately some find love, some, some help each other in different ways. I was actually on a, on a jog one morning and I, and I came across a piece of lawn art in front of a relatively attractive house. It was a stone brontosaurus. And my initial reaction was that, why would anyone want this dinosaur in their front lawn? You know, um, I'm not sure why, but I, it stayed with me. And as I was jogging further and running into other people on my run and thinking about people in my world, I, I realized actually I know a few people who would like that brontosaurus, obviously the people who live there. And that was the spark, was trying to then investigate those people, people who maybe live at the margins a little more, people who find beauty in bizarre places. And instead of the initial judgment, trying to find what it is that they see in those things and see that that's actually a virtue and, um, and it's what makes them rich and beautiful instead of odd and alienated. What do you know about the legs of a brontosaurus? The security guard cracked a curious smile and then, as he typically did with Russell, ignored the question and handed him a lollipop. The legs, Russell repeated, unwrapping the dum-dum. They got any knees? The guard shook his head slightly and then threw up his hands. Man, you are one crazy old fool. The hell do I know about a damn brontosaurus? Russell adjusted his thick frames and held the guard's gaze a minute, as if to challenge him to think harder about the question. Tell you what I do know, bank don't open for 30 more minutes. Russell was well aware of the credit union's hours. He was also well aware that a perfectly functioning ATM hummed idly only a few steps away. But Russell didn't trust computers, nor did he believe in the hidden hand of direct deposit. What you can't see, you can't know, he liked to say. Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. Not anymore. Not with what I'm sitting on. Criminy, Jesse. Wait until you get a load of what I stumbled upon a few days ago. What inspires you about telling stories? You know, I, I think that uh, as a people, we're, we're by nature storytellers. But I think that of late, maybe we find ourselves not necessarily telling fewer stories, but telling different stories, telling stories that, uh, you know, maybe have a political agenda or telling stories that, um, you know, are maybe meant to alienate versus unite. Telling stories about struggle, but not with the goal of empathy. Um, and for me, stories are, are the best way to, to unite people. songs are mostly an emotional experience. Have you heard that there's water some would die to find in a well in some forest can turn more than to wine. No, not 
sure I believe it I'm not sure that I do But lately I have been grasping For something to pull me through Where's the wishing well? Where's the wishing well? And I feel like a traveling salesman Say it sometimes I wanted more. Why are stories important to us? The best power of a story is to is to make us look both outward and inward. To hopefully see a part of the world that maybe we're not used to looking at. And then to hopefully look back at ourselves and see a part of ourselves that we haven't seen before or haven't seen for a while. I think a lot about why I write songs um, because there's a lot of things you can do with your life, you know, and there's a lot of things that um, are valuable. And uh, for me, trying to increase empathy is of among the highest things of value. Uh, and for me, songs can hit people at a level that not a lot of things hit us. Because many messages that we get, many medium that we get, divide us, they make us angry, they make us judge. And ultimately, that's not gonna heal or help. Um, ultimately, what brings us together has to be something that hits us at more of an emotional core with a certain kind of emotional directness that allows us then to go into the world and see new beauty and to see each other with kinder eyes. I think songs and stories ultimately make us more empathetic. Fuck.